Hey guys, it's Joe at Torment Productions. We're taking out the Vespera from uh, Venus, the uh, smart telescope. I got it leveled and we're gonna initialize it, capture some uh, objects in the sky. So uh, bear with me, I'll be right back and I'll show you some things, okay? So first right. thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on the scope and we're gonna hold on the button right here and you see the button is gonna start, uh, the light is gonna come on and off. And once that gets on and uh, turns blue solid, then we're going to connect our uh, foam to the uh, Vespera. Now the light is uh, blue, and what we want to do, you come over here and you hit your settings button, and then we're going to connect to the uh, Vespera Wi Fi. All right, scroll down there and see it says Vespera, and now it's going to connect once it does that. I'll show you what we do next. And then we want to click on the uh, singular app. And on the singular app, it's going to show you right here, the battery is 100%. Uh, and the first thing is we want to do is initialize it. And when we initialize it, it's going to do a, a star capture. It's going to do a couple of things. It's going to sit there and capture uh, numerous things in the sky. Check out the, uh, uh, the accuracy of our place where we are. So that's exactly what it is going to do. Okay. All right, so what I want to show you is I'm going to hit the uh, initialization button. The arm is going to start elevating up. This is the initialization. It's sit there and look for star uh, location and uh, pinpoint things for our, where we are. The scope is now looking around for objects. Okay, we have the scope uh, initialized. So the next thing is it's gonna ask us, look for a target, all right, on the app. So we can either hit uh, look for target right here, or we could come down to this little uh, uh, Saturn looking thing and hit there and it'll tell us what's, uh, what's up in the sky. So we'll just sit there and hit this. It's saying right now, recommend it, Hercules Cluster, Dumbbell Nebula, Eagle Nebula, uh, Trifig Nebula, Whirlpool Galaxy, Laguna Nebula, Omega Nebula, uh, Cigar Galaxy, Veal Nebula, and there's some uh, suggestions right there. Uh, let's see if there's any galaxies, because everything is listed right down inside here. So let's see if there's any galaxies we could get to. It'll give you when it says whether it's poor or clear or good to go. You know, I got the Whirlpool Galaxy and everything whatsoever. All right, okay, so I'm gonna click on the pinwheel galaxy. That's uh, 53 degrees above the horizon, so we should get something there. And it says 30 minutes right there, total exposure time to get the best type of picture, okay? So I'm gonna hit observe. Now it's gonna start pointing at the target and it'll give you some information about the target that we're looking at. It takes a little time because the telescope is slewing over so simple and easy. Capturing starting is always a good thing. I mean, it's starting to capture uh, the, uh, the image. And now we get this uh, little uh, surge right here, and that means it's going to start coming into focus. Okay. Over a period of time of 30 minutes, what's going to happen is that the image is going to start coming in clearer and clearer and clearer. And I'll show you that. These are raw pictures. I'm not gonna sit there and do any enhancements. This is all straight out of the telescope. And you'll see the time up here. It'll say 30 seconds right there. And every 10 seconds, it's going to be taking a uh, photograph to bring it in closer and closer. And after 30 minutes, you're gonna see a very nice picture. So I'm gonna let this go and we'll be right back as it comes into focus. Okay, let's check in on the pinwheel galaxy with the Vespera closing in. We are now around uh, 15 minutes, 30 seconds, halfway through the full capture. You can also, when you're sitting there looking at this, it tells you on uh, here, it tells you about the, the uh, pinwheel galaxy. It And it says, who discovered it? Pierre Merchand in 1781 it is 
very many light years away how size it is and uh, that is absolutely incredible okay and right, we have about 30 seconds left of the 30 minute exposure time and there it is there is the final exposure of the uh, pinwheel galaxy 30 minutes What I want to show you, you come over here and it'll show you the time uh, it took to gather all that in a, uh, a video. So now it comes into light, as you see, over the 30 minutes. Yep, and that's pretty damn cool. Okay.